Hey, what's up you guys? It's Will again. Uh, I got another piece of art I'm about to do here. Um, I've been playing with eyes a lot, painting eyes, and um, it's a good exercise for me. I honestly haven't done a lot of painting of the eye in the past, so... So, uh, so here I am, and I'm getting started here. I don't have a bunch of music and stuff to play in the background yet, because I'm with this YouTube thing, so you guys are just going to have to listen to me. I'm, I'm going to explain kind of what I'm doing. Um, I started out with kind of having a general idea and feel of how I wanted this painting to go. Uh, so right now I'm trying to find the, the, the background I want to use for this. And I'm just layer, layering down some gray. And what I was originally thinking was to put um, kind of a light point in the center of the painting more and then go darker as it goes out to the edge of the canvas. Uh, and that's what you're seeing me do here. Um, but this is really just me kind of playing with it and trying to build a background that then I can put the eye on and it would kind of frame or emphasize the eye. I ended up not sticking with that. Um, as you're about to see, I just made the whole thing gray and you're about to see that coming up in a moment here. Um, okay, right there. So I made the whole thing gray and then what I did is that's texture on the outside rim. Uh, it's thick gesso that's laid down on outside of the canvas to create some texture there. And then I put black over that as well, which added a little bit more texture because the black I was working with was pretty thick as well. And I wanted that texture uh, along with colors that I'm about to layer down to frame it somewhat. Here I am playing with the eye. Uh, this was a new experience for me, so I, as you can see, uh, there's some mistakes right away. Uh, as the inside of the eye is way too small and so as this video progresses you're going to see me making that larger and larger just to kind of um, correct myself with it. Also, I'm not a makeup guy. Um, I don't know eyeliners and I never decorate or paint eyes at all so this was completely foreign to me and new um, but it was, it was a great learning experience. See here I'm playing with highlights um, and creating that wet look um, on the eye itself to um, make that three-dimensional real look to it so that's what I'm doing here okay so here I am and this was actually some of my favorite parts right here was working on the outside of the picture uh, with the palette knife and I began just to layer down some some pink on top of the white and the gray and the and the black that I have there and so I just I did a little bit of layering there tried to even it out here is the picture of the picture the painting flipped upside down so I could get a better line and there's there's nothing like having a really nice fine tip brush that you can make those lines because it can be so frustrating especially when you're working with a painting that does have some kind of texture on it because you have those ridges, ridges and bumps. Uh, filling it in with a purple kind of color once again trying not to stray too much from the original feel and thought I had for this painting um, but at the same time going with the flow of the painting complementing the different um, the different uh, changes that just organically happen as you as you paint and kind of roll with your talent or your skill level and um, and just kind of the feelings you're having during the painting and and so yeah that's what I'm doing right here is just filling that in and try not to mess it up too much let's see the pupil as you can see or the inside of the paint uh, of the eye is um, is still too small I, it got a little bit bigger but it's still too small and so, and right here, I'm actually on the corners of the eye there, you have pink, and I've added later on a little bit of red in there, but I was playing with some of those highlights. Okay, here's the next picture. And, um, okay, that sound, I love that sound. I don't know if it's just because I'm weird, but I absolutely love the sound of scraping a palette knife over texture. And this was just awesome. And I'm adding some yellow here, and you're going to see me add, uh, or there's already some blue, but you're going to see me add just more and more layers. All right. So this is the center of, eye, of the eye. This is what I ended up doing. 
and you can see I took some yellow in there with some good greens, some black to create some shadowing, and I made it a little bit larger. It's still really rough. The edges need to be cleaned up a little bit, but you're about to see, okay, there we, there we go. Cleaned it up, added the highlights. You got the top lashes uh, in, and actually, I'm about to tell you some stuff. Uh, like I said, I was just filling some time, so listen up to me. <laughs> Alright, so here's the final painting. I know how to kind of skip past some uh, some of the stuff there, but I'll kind of go over what I did. The final touches, just to uh, pull this thing together. I'm not super familiar with, with painting eyes, so this was a new good experience for me. Um, it was a lot of fun. So the final things that I did is I really came in here and I created all this detail and some shadowing and stuff to make this this eye really look interesting and then of course the highlights the little light points that makes it look three-dimensional and kind of wet uh, you got one here as well and some in the corner here some look running along here so when you really step back from it it ties it all together I got the shadow from the eyelashes on the eye once again making it look like uh, it's real and um, and then what I did down here is I took like a, just a rag, a wet rag with lots of water in it and some white paint, splat it, splatted it on there and then I, you know, pushed it all around and kind of gave it just this, this white wash type of, you know, light coat of this kind of foggy look over it. And then I did that with black a little bit on the corners to frame it and make the uh, inside of the eye kind of popping a little bit. The other reason why I wanted to do that is so when I laid the lashes down, there's a lighter color in the background and what that will do is create a better contrast which will make the lashes louder and stronger um, and I think that would works well with this painting also I took some really really watered down like pink slash reddish colors and I came in here and I slightly made the indication of veins because I want to keep kind of that strong beauty kind of look to it but um, without making it look like crazy you know I haven't slept in <laughs> In, uh, in two days and I got veins all through my eyes kind of scenario but just some light indication just so when you get close to the painting there's some interest there as well and you go oh okay I see that um, and so I think it's it's basically done now I just filled in a little bit more lashes uh, the lashes were interesting for me because I started out and I was I was wondering if I'm getting the angles right and then I realized that when you're doing lashes not all of them are perfect so I had to try to make some of them not perfectly angled right um, just to try to create some realism there you know I got some different angles going on inside of here and that was an interesting one too uh, to try to accomplish because I didn't want to go too crazy with the with the ones that aren't perfectly angled um, and make it look too too messy so I think I hope I got a, a decent balance there and uh, it was a whole lot Okay, you guys, so that's the painting. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot, 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 lot more uh, painting videos coming out, so subscribe, and thank you. Be blessed. Have a good day, and all that good stuff. Bye. <laughs>